Sure. Hi. Hi, uh, guys. It's nice to talk to you again. I'm Veronica Bruno from Culture S. Hi, Veronica. Hello. How are you? Hello. Good. Very sad, <laughs> first of all, that it's the last season. Um, so both of you really represent very distinct viewpoints of the belt. Uh, both of you feel, it seems, you know, that you're both right. Um, if you could talk me through your journey of, of that this season, this final season. Mm. I, Marco's dream to a certain extent comes true. That's where we start off season six. Right. We've succeeded. We are now no longer in a, a war so much as we are in a place of governing what we've won. And so in, in a lot of ways, he's, he's achieved that thing he's always thought was possible, but didn't think he could get, and he's gotten there. And it's almost like he's gotten there. And there's a question of like, what now? Oh, it's harder every to rule. Single, every single um, uh, tool that I've developed, every way that I've um, architectured my own psychology and my own being to rise up from the bottom of the belt to become this person, every way that I've contorted myself to become this perfect leader that could achieve this has brought me to this point. But now a lot of those tools are not necessary. Now I need a whole other set of tools in order to govern. It's now about politics and not about warfare. And so we see a major shift in his psychology as he starts realizing that this is a whole other thing that is actually not adrenaline, adrenaline based at all. Right. And where where um, authority isn't wielded in the same way. It, it, he is still a master manipulator, but it's a whole other chess game than what he's used to. And because of that transition, we start seeing the pulls and cracks at his psychology and his trauma. And we start seeing behind the multiple facades that we have seen him put on for so long. And we get a much better glimpse as to the pain and the trauma and the um, unmet needs and desires at the root of all of this. And even little glimpses of his, of his inner child, which, which I feel really um, grateful to have gotten to because he's, yeah. he's very complicated. And what about you, Kira? Yeah, that's so interesting. I feel like, I feel like drummer has the same desire, the same hopes and dreams that being the, the liberation of her people. Um, but I think actually in contrast to Marco, she's actually quite pure and there's something mm. almost quite simple actually about her moral compass. She's not, um, she can't contort herself. She can't. Mm. Um, and at every opportunity where, you know, she could maybe get ahead or she could have some power, uh, she just can't compromise herself. Mm. Um, and so she ends up, you know, she's like completely alone mm -hmm. and, and <laughs> really, uh, you know, the, you know, there is nothing for her in this universe. Um, but she has that, um, that very pure dream of the liberation of her people. And I actually think that that, that is what makes her born to lead. Mm. I know? think and so. It's not a, she doesn't choose it. She wouldn't choose it. She would mm. never choose that. Mm. But it is just, it's just in her, mm -hmm. you know? And so much, I, want, uh, I have to wrap up soon, but so much is involved with family for both of you. It, it's, it's such a huge motivating factor. If you could talk about that with, you know, both of your characters are so distinct about that, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, for Drummer, I think that she loves her family so much that she ultimately the liberation of her people must come first. And um, once her family starts getting hurt in that the chaos of that process, uh, she has to let them go, let them go yep. so that they can live and be free. Um, I, th I think that from Marco, uh, the family revolves 
around his narcissism. It's it's mm. and the new the the old members of the family who have now gone, and then the new characters who are introduced. They are they he relies on them deeply, but as uh, pieces of his chessboard. And I think that sure. what's really um, potent about Marco as as a symbol of a particular type of unhealthy family, um, <laughs> be, where mental health is sort of unconsciously running that family, is the potency of that is seeing that the narcissism is actually rooted in deep trauma and insecurity, mm -hmm. and that there is for him actually beneath it all deep love and need for his son, for the love of his life, for, for, <laughs> for, for his <laughs> potential ally, sure. But, but there's so much in the way. There's so yeah. much in the way that allows for that heart of hearts to be covered up and to never mm -hmm. be expressed and to actually rear its head as the opposite of love when the root of it is actually love but it's all, all of that is, is due to unresolved trauma as a colonized person. Yeah, thank you both so much for your time. And I think the season is amazing. I'm sad to see the show go, but you know, it's going out on a high. So yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Bye. thank you for the love.